Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Morris Dimba, and today I'm going to show you a quick way of creating staircases in Tecla structures. Still, staircases are generally complex and demand so much time to create due to their back and forth processes. Please join me as I show you a quick way out of this complexity. I'm Morris Dimba, and we'll get started right away. If you take a look on the screen, I have two components here. I created these staircases. Uh, component one and component two so I'll be joining them this on top of this and and the and this at the bottom end here so I converted these to uh, I create I converted these two components and I included them into my Tecla library so instead of going back back and forth uh, 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 creating staircases uh, I will not be doing that. I'll only be picking these components and, and joining them together and correcting some parts that are not, that are clashing and correcting so that I shorten my time in modeling staircases of this kind. Now, I did this and uh, you can see if I mouse over this, everything gets selected because as it is now, there are Tecla reads it at, as a one component or as a macro. Now, these are the ones that I created, first of all, I created these uh, uh, trade uh, grating. So if I click on that cre uh, trade grating, I'll be able, I'll, I'll not be able to create that trade like that, as simple as that. So instead of uh, uh, modeling a trade, will not be, it will not take me so much time. So it's one component. So I can just go ahead and select on it and delete it. So I did the same with uh, this uh, staircase. So I'll only be, be picking it and placing it on at, at any point so I can click on that spot and uh, define it and place it somewhere there right click and give it some time to process everything so that we can view whatever has been created here is our staircase so I'll just go ahead and click interrupt to terminate that command so I'll click out of this box then right click and click redraw so that we can see whatever has been generated so we have this I normally uh, I, I created the I created the handrails using a macro so normally if you convert if we convert this to a macro some components get uh, get uh, interrupted or uh, get corrupted but these are correctable while you work on your staircase so i'll show you step by step on how you can uh, create this and make or model your staircase in a quicker way so let me first for uh, first of all delete this because I had already created these components here. So I'm going to delete that so that we remain with these two. These two, all of them are included in this in this library. So we have this in the library and we have this one here. Let me just scroll up. We have this one here. So it's just a matter of clicking here and joining them together to create a staircase tower. So I'll come here and now start placing these components. Let me first of all take you through the components so that you see how they look. So this one starts at the bottom end here. It starts at the bottom end here. With treads in place, everything looks perfect. In, uh, in You just place it with, with just a click and you create a your staircase without going back and forth, creating the treads, creating the stringers, cr creating the... Uh, uh, the handrails it takes you a lot of time, so you trim that time to and con and uh, combine everything into a macro or or a component a component created and included into Tecla structure library. So w whenever you want to create a staircase, you'll be able to just pick and join these components to create a staircase of your choice. So let me just pick on this and right click and come to copy. And I'll just, uh, uh, my joining point was that l point. So I'll just go ahead and pull it and join it together uh, at, that, at this spot here. Let me just zoom close and make sure they met properly. So I'll just give it some time to, to place that copy on that spot. There we are and it has been copied. I'll right click and come to interrupt and zoom out so you can see all these symbols of uh, connections in already showing up so to refresh I'll refresh to clear all this so we have this in place so I'll go ahead and try and delete this or I can just leave it in this place so you, you, uh, you'll see that the moment you copy some parts get interrupted with so what we are going to do we are going to just doing so do some small corrections here 
So what I'm going to do prior to doing in correction, I'm going to select on this component, then uh, I'll right click because putting or taking into account the height from landing to landing is 3.3 meters. So um, I'll just only come here and select on this component here, then right click and come to special copy here and click linear. So inside this linear I'll feed here, here on the Z axis, I'll feed that 3.3 meters high. So I'll either type the components I want to copy up and maybe I need six of these. So I'll just feed six there. So six times three, that means higher a very high staircase. Now I'll go ahead and click copy and you know it will take some time so we'll, get, we'll give it some inform it will give it some time to process that whole information. Now if you take a look here our uh, our staircases have been uh, copied so I'll go ahead and click expand. So once I've done that I'll go ahead and click OK right click and click interrupt to terminate that command so if i zoom out you'll, you'll be able to see the the full height this staircase has stretched to you can see that so what we're missing here is just the the columns the columns there's there's no need you to create uh, one component to a uh, one component you just create you just place them once you've pl you've placed all these staircases so it runs all the way from the from zero level to this height here Trans all the way from uh, from zero level the, from the bottom end here all all the way to the the, the top end. I'll, I'll right click and come to interrupt to terminate that command. So let me come under uh, under navigate once you've clicked on view here and come to navigate and click rotate with mouse. Then pick your rotation point and turn this round and see how this looks. So this is how it looks and it's just a click on your on your mouse. So you will realize that uh, some components are missing. Reason being, I joined this and Tekla is not able to read this connection. So you, you, it, will, it will take you some, some few minutes to correct this. Now, to do that, I'll come, here, I'll come here and disable the assembly. So I'll be going all the way to correct these uh, connections, which is which will take us some very small, some very few minutes. I'll come to tube, I'll just type tube here, tube, and pick on this spot, and uh, I want to connect this to that. And I want to connect this one to this one, and also I want to connect this to that. Connect that to that. It's not recognized. Connect that to that, and we've connected that. So we need this to connect with that, this one to this, and we've cleared that. We need this to link up with that, and this one to link up with that. So there are very, there are very small things to, to correct, and that to that. So I'll do, all, all, I'll do the same thing to the rest of these components. I'll select that, connect that to that. So next, connect that to that. There's a process you need to follow when uh, creating connections here. So I'll be connecting that to that. And then you want to connect this one to that one. And I'll go all the way to connect that to that, this one to that one. So you, you will realize you are taking a very little time to do this. Instead of starting from scratch, to create a staircase. So I'll just I'll just pick that, connect this to that, and go all the way and try connect that to that. The reason we are doing this is because Tekla uh, is not recognizing some connections that we have we've created using the same same macros. Uh, I, I created the hand railings not manually. I created using a handrail macro. That's why some connections are not being recognized. Now I'll, so now I'll go ahead and connect that to that. I want to connect this to that. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing on top here. Connect that to that. This one to that one. So even though it is a simple work, redoing this looks more, more sim a, a little bit simpler than uh, doing this staircase from scratch which will take you some which will take you a lot of time 
to create and to calculate let me undo that and come here and i want to connect this one to that one this to that let me and redraw that connect this to that move up and i want to connect this one here to that and i want to connect this one to this one and this one also to that and this one to that so you'll find this a very simple process to to follow connect that to that come back the moment you hear that bell means that connection has been rejected and you have to re 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 do it by following the appropriate processes in creating a connection now i'll go ahead and create a connection there create a connection there and create a connection here here and there and here and we need a connection right there for the handrails only so i'll connect that to that connect that to that if we ha if we, we did the handrails manually it won't have been this we won't have come all the way to correct this I'll click that to that connect that to that and i'll connect this to this and i'll come here and connect that let me just come back and uh, connect that is not recognizing that process and i'll connect that connect this and connect that the moment you hear that bell means the connection has been rejected and you you need to redo it and i'll come here and create a connection right there and uh, create another connection there so there's none left so what i'm going to do i'm going to refresh once again and turn it and uh, try and correct to the other end i'll come all the way here and turn this round like this and try to correct any any handrail any handrail that has been left out in this process so i'll correct this just come here and redo that redo this and uh, connect this to that connect this to one to this one connect this one to that connect that to that and also come here and connect that select this and that and we'll get connected connect that to that just move all the way and clear the connection perfect let's connect all this so that it looks more presentable this one to that one that one to that one that one to that one this to that connect that connect all this Connect all, even these ones, this one and that one. I think we are almost there. And connect this one to that, this one to that one. And we'll come all the way to this end also and correct all this. The connection has been rejected. So if you move and down and check all these processes, you'll be able to see that we've done everything correct. And if we refresh and uh, take a look from the bottom end here, you'll be able to see we have this in place. So you can get rid of this if, if need be by selecting on it and uh, clicking delete. And you don't need it there because you have a staircase tower on top here. So I'll come here and turn this round and I'll be able to take a look on this and if you come here and turn around this you'll be able to see we have the hand railings in place and and this connection looks much better so this is how you can create uh, is how you can uh, shorten your time in modeling the staircase so what you need to place is just you you place the columns right here to place the columns right here let me just uh, give you a sample here I'll just come here and uh, place maybe i'll place a column right here it will run all the way to the bottom end so if i come here and come to view i'll be able to just turn this and you'll be able to see my connection so th there'll be a slight clash but what you'll do you'll just change the size of the column 
maybe the web is too is too wide and you have you you'll have to correct that so you need a, a column another column here another column here and another one here so that one this should not be something hectic to do because the hectic part is just creating the threads and the and the stringers there and uh, the handrails so this is how it looks and uh, try create your own component or uh, if you need this uh, setting you can come to civilmax civilmax.com and you will be able to get this component at a, at a very at some very low coins now let me turn this round let me turn it round and you can see the threads right there and uh, you can try this for yourself thanks a lot for watching this video and this if uh, and uh, if this is your first video to bump into please don't forget to subscribe i'm Maurice dimba and keep safe stay home